join us at the start line of the visitors. The University or middle Go. ground pops us forward. You've got Gr Cambridge University, University at the top yeah. of your screen, with Princeton University in the orange and black up at the bottom of your screen. So these are coxless boards, so we could see a bit of steering going on. They haven't got someone inside the boat to help them, but these two have got away pretty well. And what a great race we're in for. Cambridge University on the left. All of these crew were in their boat race team this year, up against the Princeton crew on this side, all of whom were in their heavyweight varsity eight. So a real heavyweight clash here at the universities from Great Britain and from the United States. So this is for intermediate four, so you're seeing the very, very best, the top of the university crews will enter this event. You might see some under-23 internationals in this event, and you're seeing here at the top of your screen the white boat off of the boat race winners. If you watched the Cambridge-Oxford boat race a few months ago on the River Thames, these are the winners, the Cambridge crew. So here we are, we've moved along the course. We're picking this up at halfway, and you can see the crew from Princeton in the United States are on the left. They've moved nicely away, but I think Cambridge are going to try and hang in there. High rate of striking as we take a look at the powerful, almost more powerful looking, stronger looking Princeton athletes we see here. You should never write off a boat race crew, should we, Greg? This crew's used to going side by side, one on one. That's how they've trained their entire season, but. Princeton have taken a commanding lead in this first third. Yeah, they certainly have as we're coming up here, like you say. Now we're getting into the real guts of the race, the real middle of the race. Looking at Ollie Pash there in the stroke seat of the Cambridge Coxless Four on our left. He stroked that, or he's in that boat race crew. He's got so much experience over this, these longer races. He creates a lovely rhythm. He's sitting in the stroke seat there. And they're trying desperately now to have a good, strong third quarter and close the gap on the crew from Princeton. It looks like nice rowing, doesn't it? It looks quite calm, quite loose. And when, I, when I'm saying that, if you're not, what, if you're watching and not a rower, we want to see these rowers working really hard through the water, but you don't want to work hard when you don't have to. So half of our stroke, we're not working. We're flowing back up the stroke. Yeah, that's right. Well, here we see this crew from Princeton coming towards us. It's Floyd Benedicta in the bow seat. He was a swimmer before he became a rower. He swam for Germany, and he's now rowing for Germany. He's rowed for Germany. He's also rowing for the US. He's been to the under-23 World Championships, as we see them being steered back towards their station. I'm sure they're going to respond. We see them there just responding to Matthew Benson's flag. It looks like they've moved back towards where they need to be. We see the launcher, Jasper Parrish, who's the brother of your stroke man in the Cambridge crew, Ollie Parrish, famously steered the Cambridge boat, making a bold decision there to change his course in the boat race a few months ago. And he's watching on there in his Cambridge blue blazer at his brother racing now. Yeah, the Cambridge supporters are sitting on the right and they're looking at their crew and they're hoping they're going to be able to make a move back. Brett Taylor in the bow seat there, the 21-year-old. They'll be making some calls. They'll be trying to encourage this crew to change the pace and make a move. They'll need to do something quite soon. They're getting towards the enclosures. It's time to make a move. And they are, Greg. They've responded. They've taken this truck right up. They've moved almost to the middle of the course. I'm sure Matthew's going to warn them. Matthew might warn them, but the crew from Princeton are going to respond to them. There's some tough men in there. Stefan Pienaar in the two seat. He represented South Africa at the Junior World Championships. His mother is Noreen. Pina, his father is Francois Pina, the winner of the Rugby World Cup back in 1995. So there's some pedigree in there, some competitiveness in there, and this group is responding. They're looking for the finish line and they're coming down towards it well. Well, what a finish from Cambridge. They had never given up down this course, but Princeton overpowered them. They did the work earlier on in the race and they're moving to Saturday. A little thumbs up. A win in the visitors for Princeton University.